Hey guys. Okay. This was very impulsive, but I had to jump on and do an unboxing for you guys. I am so excited. Um, I got something from the Spring in the City collection from Louis Vuitton. It just came in the mail and I want to open it with you guys. So if you're interested in seeing what I got, stay tuned for the video. Look to the left, look to the right, nothing can stop me in the night like I'm leaving all the bad stuff. And trying to remain so strong, I know it's good. Okay, we have a fresh open box from Louis Vuitton. Um, I actually ordered this online, uh, which is surprising because I feel like when limited editions or like special collections come out, it's almost impossible to find them online. So I kind of took it as a sign of like, I should just get it. And I haven't really spoken too much about the Spring in the City collection. Uh, I kind of, it's hard for me to speak on it until I've seen like the quality of it and um, anything in person. So this is like very impulsive for me. I do really try to think about my purchases. I know I've, done a lot of unboxings recently and um i attribute that to like maybe stress with work and also just loving a lot of things that have been released recently and my love of like sunglasses and like random stuff so i am promising and making commitment to myself to slow down on purchases i will still be making content for you guys i want to do a lot of reviews i want to review like new collections other brands all of that and of course i say that now and probably will end up buying more but this was something i couldn't pass up on so let's go ahead and open so it came in a box um the delivery boxes from louis vuitton have louis vuitton there and then this did come with a ribbon, but I took the ribbon off because I didn't want to spend time like trying to get it off. So it came wrapped with a ribbon, no shopping bag, which is typical for an online purchase. And the Spring in the City collection is so cute. It looked really cute in photos. I didn't know how it was going to translate. I've seen, I've seen other people do unboxings like on Instagram and on TikTok, and I feel like it wasn't doing it justice. So I'm happy to have something that I can have in my collection but also have like and see in my with my own eyes so i'm curious to know if you guys thought i would buy anything from the collection you guys know i'm not a very colorful person but i'm surprising you here so i am blabbering too much so we have a smaller box what could it be what could it be we've got the receipt in here hmm hmm it is the <laughs> the cutest petite sock plot in the sunrise pastel i hope this is coming across on camera as like vibrant as it is in person it is so beautiful and i have so many thoughts about this bag so um I didn't think I was going to get anything from this collection because when I saw the pictures, I was like, "They're it's really cute, but like, am I ever going to wear it? Like, does it go with my collection? Is there anything? They were very, it's very expensive. And I will say like every item from this collection is expensive, but I loved it all. Uh, but I had to be very uh, calculating about like what I was going to get and what I was actually going to like and use. And I've had my eye on a petite sack plat. My mother-in-law has this one in the canvas monogram, which is very cute, but I feel like I have enough canvas monogram. I wanted something different. And then I actually considered getting the petite sack plat in the bi color, but I knew that I needed more of like a nighttime bag in the bi color, just because I would get the most use out of that where it could be converted day into night. And then this baby, was being shown online um foxy lv had posted it and then i'd seen um some of the girls i follow on instagram send me other pictures of it and i just thought it was the cutest thing now listen i'm not delusional this is a small bag this is a small ass bag um it is tiny i'm not like 
you know, pretending it's not, but it is stunning. And I've got to tell you some of the things that drew me into this bag was I was chatting with one of the girls that I follow and she follows me on Instagram and she works at Louis Vuitton, but she works more on, she's like a care specialist or repair specialist. So she has insight into like any quality issues within Louis Vuitton, um, how things are made, how they're going to hold up and like her opinions. I value really highly and when i was chatting with her about you know what i was thinking and possibly getting from this collection i brought up this color and she had said that the quality of the canvas was like unmatched it is a different method that they're using for this particular line and you can tell like this canvas is so sturdy i mean it's definitely textural and it has like a lot of like embossing on here and it's just a really great sturdy quality feeling canvas and i was unsure about that and then just the way the colors pop off on this bag just stunning the sunrise pastel and i really liked that they did the small monogram and the large monogram because i thought they were both stunning the monogram is seamless and then it comes with Honestly, this strap is everything. It comes with a like baby blue teal. I don't know anything about colors, guys. This strap with the baby pink on the side. And what really sold me on this is that it's adjustable. And so I actually haven't been I haven't put it together yet because it still has the little protective piece on here. But it is the perfect length. And I just think it's for this bag. I don't want a chain. I don't want um, like a big thick guitar strap or canvas strap but this is like the most perfect touch i do see myself carrying this as like its own little statement piece without a strap on it but it's nice to know that like if i'm wearing like with my outfit i'm wearing right now i feel like this would look cute it, <clears throat> excuse me and with the sturdiness of this canvas i don't see it lopsiding as much when you hook this on there and just like really quickly let me strap it on for you guys Just love that this strap is removable but i feel like with this it doesn't pull as much on the bag and you can have it sit with the um straps or the top handles up or you can have it sit down and i just think it's stunning and the strap is like a really nice soft leather it's not like i think the issue with me and like the canvas straps is that they're very hard and they hurt my shoulder this one is super soft almost like a belt style material. It's very supple. And the inside, I'm gonna get up close so you guys can see the inside. Look at the inside. It has the most adorable little like Florida, is it Florida lease and like the monogram spread out in pink and purple. And then it has like the Louis Vuitton tab and then it has a pocket. So if you guys have seen the petite, petite sac plat, this is just the same size same style just in the spring and summer spring in the city uh sunrise pastel so a little bit about why i went with this bag was i'm not typically very colorful i wear very neutral color palette like my bags are monogram which i feel is a neutral um black or white or cream and that's just how i dress and it's just my style and I'm okay with that. I've, I've come to terms with it. I do though wear pops of color during the summer or when I'm on vacation. And I felt like if I was going to do a pop of color in a bag, it needed to be a small bag. It needed to not be overwhelming because if I was going to grab it, it needed to just be like a little additional pop of color with my outfit, nothing too like out there. And I just felt like this bag is gonna fit the bill so if i'm just you know wearing a like a little white dress like grab the bag or if i'm wearing jean shorts and a blouse like i think this would look cute or even just like on vacation somewhere wearing like a bathing suit and running like out to the pool bar or something i don't know i'm just like <laughs> i'm sending those vibes out there like let's go on vacation but i thought that for me i needed a smaller style bag for me to actually use it in this color palette and I just loved it. I think maybe, I don't know if you guys are like 80s babies, I'm a late 80s baby. So I grew up with like Lisa Frank, Barbie, obviously Barbie's still around, but like 
this Polly Pocket style coloring, it just like did something to me and I didn't want to miss out. So I did consider getting the Zippy Wallet. I did look at the Wapiti, but for me, like I think I would, I wanted something that would hold my phone and that would just be a little additional bag style that would hold enough um, for me. And this does, this does hold enough. So I know because I've tried this out in my mother-in-law's bag. It does hold a cell phone. This is a 12 Pro, regular size, not max. Fits in there perfectly. And then my wallet, which is the business card holder, it fits in here. Now I'm trying to decide, like there's enough room to put like keys and stuff in here or like mask or sanitizer. Hopefully don't wear masks anymore. Um, but it fits that. And that was like my minimum requirements to fit my phone and a wallet. Now, I carry sunglasses with me and depending on the size of sunglasses, I can fit it in there. But I think what I'm gonna end up doing, and if you guys have any suggestions for a card holder that matches this, their um, LV does not have one. But if you guys know any other brands that make a like baby pink or anything that matches any of the colors on here, even a cream, let me know. I feel like I would get a lot of use out of it. But I have my LV monogram card holder and if I could just put that in the top, it leaves so much more room in here for me to put like keys and and sunglasses. So I think that's what I'm gonna end up doing. What I do like too is that my phone fits in this, oh, sorry, I have my little stickers and stuff in here. Uh, product number and all that. My phone fits right in here. Now it does stick out a little bit mostly because my case is a little thicker, but you can't really tell. Um, and then I have the rest of the bag to fit whatever else I need. So, I don't know guys, what do you think? I was also very drawn to the Neverfull. I felt like it's a great vacation bag, but I just don't think for the price I was gonna get enough use out of it. And I did love that the Neverfull came with the extra pouch, but then like you're spending all that money for a pouch, like doesn't make any sense. Um, I liked the Kirigami set, but I would have had to convert it to a bag to get enough use out of it. And I just felt like for that amount, like I would just spend a little bit more and get an actual little bag, but still really cute, very tempted by the Kirigami set. Um, the On The Go PM and the On The Go, stunning, but the On The Go PM is what I would probably want to go with, but I would want it to have a leather strap and it comes with the canvas strap, which is fine, or the guitar strap, which is fine, but for that price point, I really would have had to like love everything about that bag. Um, and I did love the coin purse that it came with. But for me, I knew that this probably or nothing else would fit the bill for me. Um, and so we have it. And it's nice that I have, I don't have anything in my collection that is this style. So I feel like it's a good addition. I'm just trying to like rationalize, make myself feel better for it. And to be honest, like I didn't think I was even going to be able to get my hands on it. So I didn't like want to talk about it too much or even like like think too much about it um but she's here she is easter ready easter is this sunday and i feel like this is the most perfect little bag um and i would love to try it on for you guys i think that'll be helpful for everyone to see i mean i'm still trying to like decide like how i'm gonna style it so i will keep you guys posted on instagram um if you don't already which i'm sure you guys do follow me on decor and designer um, I post pretty regularly on there. I've been a little quiet recently just from like work being crazy. Um, but I will be back on it. You know how things go in lulls and like waves and lulls. And um, I still post pretty regularly. And I'm always answering your guys' message on there. So if you have any questions about this bag, if you want me to send you any other pictures or put anything in here, let me know. I'm happy to do so. And I will keep you guys posted on where. I did want to share something interesting though. Um, I was talking to Gabriella, Gabby on Instagram, and she's the special, like she's a specialist over there. And she was saying that um, Louis Vuitton right now is really focused on producing better quality items and producing them with, with less flaws and less mistakes. And so that's the reason for the price increase, which I thought was interesting is like, they're raising prices on newer items because it's allowing production to slow down a little bit so that they can focus on 
making the best quality item. So like, I guess that's feasible. I mean, obviously nobody wants to pay a higher price, but if it's gonna be better quality and if it's going to not have any defective properties, I'm, I can kind of see where they're coming from. And I just thought that was an interesting way to look at it because I feel like whenever I hear another price increase, I'm rolling my eyes. I'm like, okay, well they're, you know, they're raising the price, what for, we can't get these items. But I think if you step back and kind of think of it from that perspective of they wanna slow down production so that they are doing a better job of giving us a better product, I'm happy, I'm like a little bit happier with that stance on it. So I thought that was interesting. Um, and I just think that the way they did this print on this canvas, it feels like leather. So I don't know if it's like my mind thinking when I look at it, it looks like leather and it's a new type of canvas, but it is so stunning. I will say the interior being light makes me nervous. Everything about it, um, I love. I just feel like the interior scares me. I feel like for some reason, this canvas is gonna hold up like really well. Um, maybe the strap might get some discoloration if I wear it, but I'm planning on wearing it with like light colors. So let me try this on with you guys. Um, and I feel like I need to touch on some of the other items. Like I loved the marshmallow bag was stunning. I wanna see that in person. I just think that for me, um, I liked the old marshmallow style where they had the chain and then the leather strap. I didn't like that it was all leather for that particular bag. Um, but I have lots of thoughts and then as I like start to see more of them in person, I'm happy to share like any of my feedback or comments on them, but this bag is just so cute. So let me stand up. I think it'll be fun if I just stand up right here so you guys can see. So I actually don't even have it clipped on. You can see, I'll step back so you guys can see. Um, it has this ability to like become a belt buckle strap. I just haven't clipped it on, but there is a ton of length options here it's very adjustable so this is right now like i would say on the middle let me move it down this is like where it would hit middle and this is how it looks crossbody i can put the handles up if that looks a little bit better this is where it hits crossbody and then as a shoulder strap this is where it hits and I am 5'3", for reference, guys. Um, but like I said, I just kind of see it being a very, like, top handle um, option bag for me. But I, I think they did a good job with making this. I, I, I know people said that the strap is different than what they saw. But I think what happened was somebody put the marshmallow strap with this bag because the marshmallow strap is purple ombre. I actually prefer that this strap is all this like bluebird blue. Help me out guys, I don't know, like pastel, pastel blue. Um, I just think it doesn't take away from the bag and it's just very cute springtime summer. Okay, so that is it on the petite sack plat. I'm curious to know if I surprised you guys. I feel like I always ask that, but I think this one really will have surprised you. Like I'm not colorful at all. But I think if you get it, you get it. Like this is just, this is the color slash pattern of like my childhood teenage dreams. Like this is so cool to me. So love it. I'm excited to share updates with you guys, but I will see you guys in the next video. Love you. Bye.